what's the best Bosch e-bike motor system here in 2025? The tried and true e-bike system two or the new e-bike system three, which is better known as the smart system. I specifically wanna cover this for cargo bikes, but a lot of it also relates to general e-bikes. There's been several cargo bikes announced over the last few months or a year, like the new Turn GSD Gen 3 or the recent Mueller Load that have both systems, the Bosch e-bike system 2 and e-bike system 3 available as different models. So what are the pros and cons to both systems and which is better for you? Now, the most important fact to this whole rundown I'm about to share is that Bosch offers great power and assistance in both systems. If you're looking at a cargo bike, their cargo line motor gives the same power and assistance in both systems. If that wasn't the case, this video would be a mute point, but what you're gonna be looking for are all the extras and maybe the pricing that we need to work through in this video. Let's start off with the tried and true Bosch's e-bike system two, or you'll hear it called BES. Two, and why it's still a cargo bike powerhouse five years after its release. First, it's proven and maybe the most widely adopted e-bike system worldwide. This means bike shops are used to working with it and parts are readily available. Second, because it's so popular, the cross compatibility within that BES2 family makes it easier to find a charger or even a spare battery when you're needed. I'm often swapping batteries and chargers between my family's BES2 bikes, and they're not cross compatible to the new smart system bikes. Third, it's simple. There's something wonderful about hopping on a BES2 bike with the Purion display on your left side of your handlebar. It's wired, so nothing will be stolen. It shows all the stats you need besides the clock, and there isn't much to go wrong with that bike. Finally, it's more affordable. BES2 costs less, often $1,000 or more difference between a BES2 and smart system bike between the models. There are a handful of downsides, like you're gonna have to go to a dealer for any updates. Bosch didn't develop any of the latest tech for BES2, which I'll cover in a second and you don't have as big of battery options as the new smart system. So let's switch to Bosch's e-bike system three, AKA the smart system. There are a few really unique features from the smart system that really make it worth it to some to get that nicer e-bike system. First, it's a connected system. This is where the smart comes in. You can connect it to your smartphone and you can receive over the air updates with additional hardware called the Connect module, you can unlock some cool features like GPS alarm, customizing your assistant modes, a battery lock, and more. Second, there are larger battery options. The smart system has up to, I think, 800 watt hour batteries right now. And on some bikes, like the Turn GSD or the Resim Mueller Load, you can run up to two 800 watt hour batteries for some serious battery runtime. Third, I've already hinted to this, is that there's really cool hardware options. I mentioned the Connect module that adds GPS alarm and tracking, but there's also ABS on some bikes. Displays like the Kiox that can be used as a key to turn on your motor lock and GPS tracking. Finally, it's the newest Bosch system. And if it's anything like the BES2, they will be building and updating the system for the next five plus years and will support it for at least six years after the last motor is built. If you're someone that loves tech or wants to future-proof themselves, this is a great option. I do wanna clear up some confusion about sharing a smart system e-bike some folks have heard that it can be a little bit frustrating to share a smart system bike. And this is true, but also not as big of a deal as it's been made out to be. So a smart system bike can only be connected to one phone through Bluetooth. If you wanna rely 
on your phone to lock and unlock the bike, this is a big deal. In my family, and what I recommend to anyone that shares their smart system bike, is to use the Kiox display. When you have the Kiox installed, you have an option in your app to choose the Kiox as your key. And when you remove the Kiox, it turns on your e-bike lock, which is a motor kill, and the e-bike GPS and alarm. The person with the paired phone is the one that will receive the notifications if it's bumped or moved, but it's not really that big of a deal. So which one should you choose? The smart system is so cool and has very unique options like the alarm, GPS tracking, and over there updates. If you want the peace of mind, the alarm, the battery lock, all those things, get a smart system. If I lived in a high theft area, that's what I would be getting no questions asked. If you're looking for a proven, reliable, and more affordable system, the Bosch eBike System 2 still wins for price and ease of use. And hey, Bosch, if you're watching this, please keep BES2 alive while building out the smart system. We need both if we're going to have more affordable, safe e-bikes using the Bosch system. The future-ready features of BES3 are amazing, but we still need the rock-solid reliability and affordability of the BES2. With so many of those bikes already out in the field, we need to keep them running and hopefully keep more affordable options coming out. Do me a favor, drop a comment. Which Bosch system do you use or want to use? And don't forget, hit subscribe for more deep dives into bike tech and family cycling. Till next time, thanks so much for watching. Stay well, stay good, and remember to bike more and worry.